Hello and welcome to our channel, WebWiz. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Workflowy. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So Workflowy is an organizational tool that keeps you organized and helps you break your major projects into sub tasks to make it easy for you to accomplish. So all you need to do is go to your browser and type in workflowy.com, just as you see it here on my browser search bar, workflowy.com. And it's going to bring you to an interface that looks like this. Overwhelmed, we can help. Okay, so you will see a space where you should put your email address. Simply tap on it and put in your email address. I'm going to do that very quickly so that we can proceed with the tutorial. And then you tap on sign up. It's going to prompt you to put in a code that they will send to your email address. So I'm going to quickly go to my email address to get that code. Okay, so I've received the code and it is 620832. So once you fill in the code, go back and tap on sign up. It should then bring you to an interface that looks just like this. So in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to work with this interface. You can see welcome to Workflowy. You can see tap on the bullet. You can just tap on the bullet to highlight it, but then let's get to work. So if you tap on the hamburger sign here by the left of your screen, just tap on it. It will pin this menu here for you so that you can easily access it at any time. You would see that we have start and you will see that we have home. So in this section, this is where anything that you have start will show up. So what kinds of things can you start? Things that you want to have easy, easy access to, things that you want to quickly access at any time, you can start them so that anytime you want to have to deal with them or work with them or just search anything about it, you just simply come to the start section and highlight it. And the next is the home. This is where you're going to set up your notes. All right, so this is where you're going to set up your different workflows. So you can use this to create to-do lists, to um, handle projects, to manage your business, whatever it is, this is a very simple organizational tool to keep you productive. So let's add a new node just for the purposes of this tutorial. So we'll tap on new node and we're going to begin to create our workflow. So you can see here where it says type this for commands, right? So you can use this um, icon or this symbol to um, get a command. So I'm going to type that in, right? So you can see as soon as I typed it in, I was able to get some commands here. So board bullets to do heading one, heading two paragraph, upload file. All right. So, but then let's simply let me start from the very scratch. So you can decide to name your project, whatever it is that you're working on at the time. So I'm just going to title it project one. All right. And then when I tap on enter, it's going to give me a bullet there. So under project one, I could want to do some different tasks under project one. So I'll just type in task one, task two, task three, okay? So all you need to do is just simply outline all the things that you need to get done under project one. You can still go further and put in sub tax under each tax. So if you just tap in, put in the enter sign, you get um, a bullet point and then tap or use the tab key on your keyboard. Just tap on the tab key on your keyboard and it makes it a sub bullet point under your tag. So you can write subtask, subtask one, 
And then, of course, you know, you, you are going to need to put in more detail so that once you take a glance at it, you know what needs to be done under each project and under each task, right? So let's do that again. So task two, right? So even under task, you can do the same thing. Just tap on enter and then tap on your tab, keep on your keyboard. And then I'll be another sub sub task one and another sub task two right so you get the drift so you are able to organize your projects your task whatever you can even create to-do list using this tool so each time you look at it you're able to identify what you need to get done the things that you have completed the ones that you need to get started on quickly and all of that so let's continue now if you see by the right hand side you're going to see a search icon so you can tap on it to search for anything within your workflow so whatever you have typed um names task dates you can search for them on the search bar there so if you want to collaborate with other people on this task you need to use this icon here you can see where it says share so simply tap on share and you'll be able to invite people, enter their email right here on this space here, and then grant them access. You can make them an admin, which means they can edit and share this workflow with others, or they can simply edit, can edit but not share, can view, can only view and not edit. So you determine the level of access you want to give to the people that you'll be inviting, right? So I'm going to leave it at um, admin and then you tap on invite. You can also share via a secret link. If you highlight this tab here, they will give you a secret link that you can use to share with other people. And then you can also determine their access here. If you look at this, you see anyone with this link, full access, just tap on the drop down full access can edit can view just the same thing as we saw before right so that's how to collaborate with others on this um, workflow we template right so now this is where you can start your project so if i want to start this project i just need to tap on star and you see automatically it goes to the start um section here so if i want to look at my project one very quickly it's already in the start section so i can just simply tap on it and then it takes me there straight up okay so now this icon will help you to see your completed tasks okay so you can decide to leave it on to show completed tasks or you, you put it off and it will show you your completed tasks okay so here you can change your layout. If you want it to be in a bullet form like this, like the one you are seeing right now, or you want it to be a to-do list so you can see it has changed this to um, this square icon that you see here, or you can decide to make it a board. All right, so you can manage your task using the board template. So task one, subtask is here. You can add other things under your subtask one, you see, to make it more detailed for you so you know exactly what you're supposed to do per task. So you can decide the template that you want your project or your task or whatever it is to take. So you can switch between templates using this icon here. You can make it bullet to do or board template. Now, if you tap here, you will see a lot of other things, options, menus that you can use. You see share, you see undo, a lot of other things. So I'm going to show you something quickly. If you go to settings, you can customize um, your workflow we tool here. So you can put in your name, your email. You want a password, you can set a password here. All right, so you can see different things that you can customize as you please but i want to show you one that is very important one that i love so much especially if you're a beginner if you're using this for the first time you're going to see help me learn the keyboard shortcut so if you tap on it you quickly see that um a shortcut 
keyboard shortcuts will appear on the right hand side of your screen so you can easily see what keyboard shortcuts to use for each command zoom in you can see zoom out expand collapse just by looking at this um, um right hand side so once you get familiar with how to use the keyboard shortcuts you can also go back to settings and take it out All right so i'll go back to settings and take it out Once I do that, then the keyboard shortcut disappears. So I'll take this back to bullets. All right. So you can see how simple and how easy it is to use the workflow tool, especially as a beginner. Now, once you have set up your project, you can add as many projects or as many um to do lists as you want just by simply tapping on new node, and then you are able to create another one, just the same way we had created the previous one. So this is just how to get started with the workflow tool. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any more questions, please drop your questions in the comment section below and somebody will reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in the next.